All right, here at Oshkosh 2023 with Murphy Aircraft and Jacob. Uh, a few new things here going on, so I figured we'd let Jacob explain what's going on. So introduce yourself, where you guys are in the world, and what's going on. Yeah, awesome. My name is Jacob Hardine, and I'm with Murphy Aircraft Manufacturing. Uh, we're located in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. The company's been around for a good 40 years or so. Uh, 39 is the, our year uh, today, 40 will be next. And about a year and a half ago, the company came under new ownership who has decided to put all their effort into revitalizing this bit of Canadian history and an excellent manufacturer of kit experimental airplanes. Awesome. So if people aren't familiar with the brand of Murphy, uh, what aircraft are you guys, what were you producing and what aircraft will you produce? All right, so the uh, company has seven kits that it's produced over its history. Uh, in behind us here, you can see two uh, of our kit planes that have been modified to be running a variety of different engines called the, uh, the Murphy Moose. Uh, one is running with the LS, uh, sorry, one is running with the LS3 Corvette engine, the other one's running with a PT6-20. And now, as, as far as the first kit plane that uh, Murphy produced was a biplane called the Renegade. And that was a, a nice, cute little uh, two-seater uh, two aerobatic airplane. And the first customer of that airplane was a guy named Robbie Rebel, who then turned into the name of the Rebel aircraft, which is probably the most common uh, air, uh, kit plane produced by Murphy, which is a wonderful two-seating two, uh, two uh, aircraft that's able to have about 200 uh, horsepower of, of power under the hood. And it's just a decent all-around aircraft. So, so for clarity, um, historically, Murphy has produced seven different kits. With the new ownership, will they continue on with the seven different models or keep just a, a select few? So uh, with the, under the new ownership, we are focusing on three different kits, and that is the Moose, the Rebel, and the Radical. And the Radical is a, it's a bit larger than the Rebel. It, it's got a larger, roomier uh, uh, cabin as well as able to get up to 220 horsepower easily, if not more, and able to get you in and out of very tight spaces. So just real quickly overviewing the, the different models that you will carry, uh, is it like two-seater to six-seater or two-seater, like what are the different? Yeah, so in the, uh, in the ultralight section, we have the Renegade, we have the Maverick, and those are both two-seating aircraft. Uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in between those and the Moose, we have three that are called the Elite, the Rebel, and the, uh, and the Radical, and those are each either two-seater or four-seater aircraft. The Elite and the, and the Radical are able to have four people uh, comfortably inside the cabin. And then on top of that, we have the Yukon and the Moose, which are both uh, six-seater aircraft and able to be either 2,500 gross or, or 3,500, which, what, uh, which is what the Moose is. Awesome. All right, let's talk about the construction of each of these for a minute. What, what is the, the base material and also uh, assembly? Yeah, so the majority of our aircraft is assembled from 6061 uh, aluminum. Uh, and we do all of our manufacturing in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada, with a with very tight supply chain of, of uh, basically every outside uh, bit of our manufacturing process is done within an hour's drive of our factory. We're trying to make sure that we keep our supply chains as tight as possible and to keep as much of the, uh, the work in, in Canada as, as we can. Uh, with understanding that there are some areas that, of, of things that we're going to be bringing in from overseas, but that's kind of an, uh, un uh, un uh, an unavoidable situation in the, in the current uh, modern world. Okay. And describe to us the, the, what the, the builder will see, what they will receive. Is this a partially pre-drilled kit, meaning like the skins are pre-drilled and you have to drill into the, the, the structure behind it or is it all match hole at this point? Uh, so the majority of our, uh, of our kits are match hole technology. Murphy was actually one of the leaders in match hole technology for kit building. Uh, there are some areas on our aircraft where it doesn't make sense for it to be match hold just because there is a bit of a, a expected deviation and error on the, uh, on the part that it makes more sense for the, uh, for the builder to actually go in and do themselves. But that said, we are also in the process of making our kits easier and, and uh, easier and quicker to assemble uh, than what they currently are. We do uh, offer a quick build process and uh, the pricing of that is, uh, is, you know, come talk to us about it. So I can tell just by looking behind me that you have a very wide envelope of horsepower requirements for your aircraft from mild to literally wild. So what on the low end, because we're seeing what the high end is here behind us, um, what would be the low end of the engine power for these airframes? Well, we have a, a model of the Rebel that is able to run off of 80 horsepower. And so we are, a, we are offering uh, aircraft that are running from 80 horsepower all the way up to 550. And the Moose itself it was originally designed to be running with the M14 or the Lycoming 0540. Um, and I mean that's a spread of about 260 to 360 horsepower that's still able to get that into the air with a useful load of about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. 
Clemens Insurance at clemensinsurance.net. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at flysmla.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at flyfoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at edgeperformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, and so much more. And based on the, the kit, the way it is structured right now, about how many hours would it take to construct? I, I will say just, just the airframe portion of it, because I understand there's a lot of mods people can do, and obviously it extends the well, time on it. But. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, and uh, if you're looking for if, if firewall forward, of course, we have Ray Watson here and Ken Means, who are fantastic for the high power performance, and we have other partners that would be great for everything below that. Um, but as far as uh, the, airframe. the airframe itself is about 3,000 hours of, of construction time. We are, uh, and with the quick build process, that, that, that gets cut down considerably. Okay. All right. Uh, and kind of in closing here, let's talk about the price points of your your uh, your first model up to your your biggest model. Well, so our Moose, uh, okay, from the from the smallest to the highest, okay. The Rebel we're talking about thirty three thousand dollars for the kit uh, USD, and then the Radical we're talking about forty five forty six thousand, and then the the Moose we're talking about sixty three thousand uh, dollars for the kit firewall back. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time today, and go ahead and give us all of your uh, your contact information for social and online. Yeah, fantastic. So my name is Jacob Hardeen. Uh, you can reach me at uh, murphyair.com. Uh, otherwise, search for Murphy Air on Facebook. Uh, otherwise, if you want to give me a call directly, just call me at 778-201-8582, and we'll uh, have a conversation about the Murphy product. And do you guys offer factory tours at all if somebody want to come up and, and check that out? Oh, we most certainly do. Come on by Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada, and come say hi. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, no, thank you. Look out for a future episode where we introduce you to Ray at Moose Mods that produces a 430, 480, and 525 horsepower GM LS crate motor and gearbox for experimentals. And then there's Kenny at Turbine Motor Conversions that packs a Pratt & Whitney PT6-20 550 shaft horsepower turbine in the nose of a Murphy aircraft. All coming up on the Experimental Aircraft Channel.